I was in New York last week, and one sister who came out of a so-called apostolic church, she said, Pastor Jennings, I thank God for you because God have blessed you to open my eyes to so much, and I see where I was misled. She said, the church I came from now is telling the people, if you work in the medical field, driving an ambulance, wow. you can't pick up no dead body. Lord. I don't want you to sit there still and say, my Lord, you better get moving to the book of Numbers, son. Amen. I want to show you the law of the Nazarite right. where they try to certify this talk. Right. And then after we get Numbers, I want to get Acts of Acts the Apostles. Of the apostles. Wonderful, sir. And I want to show you what a dead body means. That's right. Because there's more than one form of death. That's right. Get me. Numbers chapter 6, we'll start at verse 1. All right. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, When either man or woman shall separate themselves, the vow a vow of a Nazarite, All right. to separate themselves unto the Lord, he shall separate himself from wine and strong drink. Now, the vow of the Nazarite was not all of his life back then. No. The vow of the Nazarite was temporary separation. That's right. And when you was under that vow, listen closely. He shall separate himself from wine and strong drink. He gonna be set, uh, set apart and stayed away or abstain from wine and strong drink. And shall drink no vinegar of wine. Yes. Or vinegar of strong drink. Yes. Neither shall he drink any liquor of grapes. Yes. Nor eat moist grapes or Wait a dry. minute, wait, 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 wait. Don't read so fast. He got to stay away from the wine. He shall separate himself from wine. And what else? And strong drink. Strong drink. And shall drink no vinegar of wine. No vinegar of wine. Or vinegar of strong drink. What else? Neither shall he eat, neither shall he drink any liquor of grapes. What else? Nor eat moist grapes. Wait a minute. When you was a Nazarite, you couldn't eat no grapes. That's right. That don't apply to me now. No. Bible tells me to eat whatsoever is sold in a shambles. That's right. I can go to the market and get dark purple grapes and I can get those sweet light green grapes and, yeah, yeah. and pray over it with thanksgiving. Right. Yeah. Now, when it comes to the wine, that still holds now. That's right. Because wine is a market and strong drink is raging and he that is deceived thereby not is not wise. not wise. Listen. All the days of his separation. Wait a minute. The language of the scripture says, all the days of a separation, which mean while right. he separated. That's right. right. What happened? All the days of his separation shall he eat nothing that is made of the vine tree. Wait a minute. He can eat nothing that comes from what? Made of the vine tree. That means no watermelon. That's right. right. No cantaloupe. That's right. right. Nothing that grow on the vine. Amen. No cucumbers. Yeah. That's it. Did you hear what the word of God said? All the days of his separation. Here, here, here preachers, here preachers, don't just preach the law of the Nazarite focusing on a dead body. Right. There's a diet also. That's right. Don't preach half of it. Explain all of it. Amen. There's a diet here. Yeah. You can't have nothing connected to a vine. All the days of his separation. Shall he, Wait a minute. While he separated? All the days of his separation. What? Shall he eat nothing that is made of the vine tree? Nothing? Nothing. No cantaloupe, no watermelon. No tomatoes. No cucumbers. No tomatoes, sir. That's it. But what else grow on the vine? Tomatoes. No pumpkins. No tomatoes. Yeah. No tomatoes. That's it. <laughs> Amen. What well, what else grow on the vine? Yeah. Okra. No sweet potatoes? That's it. No okra. That's it. No squash. Yeah. yeah. No zucchini. Yeah, that's right. Can't touch it. Can't touch it. That's it. That's right. The law of the Nazarite in the Old Testament was a temporary separation. Amen. Temporary. All not the permanent. All the days. The days of his separation. So that means when those days expire, then that separation is over. That's right. Glory to God. That's right. Listen. All the days of his separation shall he eat nothing that is made of the vine tree. What else? From the kernels. From, wait a minute. From the kernel? Even to the husk. I can't eat no corn. That's right. Right. 
right. from the kernel even, even to the husk. the husk. So the husk. I can't eat no corn. That's right. What else? All the days of the vow of his separation. Notice how the Bible is talking. Amen. All the days. All the days. While I'm separated. Right. Uh -huh. All the days of the vow of his separation. What else? There shall no razor come upon his head. You know they don't apply to us now. No. Amen. While you're separated, brother, you got to let your hair no grow and grow right. and grow. Well, God come along in the New Testament church yeah. and tell us men, it's a shame for a man to have long hair. So then, I got to cut my hair and still be separated unto God. That's right. Yes, sir. All the days of All the vow. All the days. Of the vow. Of the vow. Of a separation. Of the separation. There shall no razor come upon his head. What else? Until. Until. The days be fulfilled. The days be fulfilled. Into which he hath separated himself before the Lord. Yes. He shall be holy. He shall be what? He shall be holy. He shall be holy. And shall let the locks of the hair of his head grow. Oh, you can't let the locks of your hair grow now? No. You got to cut that stuff. That's right. Read fast. I want to get the dead body. At verse 6. All right. All the days. Notice how the Bible talks. Amen. Yep. All the days that he separated himself unto the Lord. While he separated unto the Lord. He shall come at no dead body. All right. Let's work. Work. While I'm separated. Amen. He said I can't do what? He shall come at no dead body. I can't even come at it? Shall come at no dead body. What about for my mother and my father? He shall come at no dead body. Because there's a place where he give me leverage That's right. to That's go right. to my mother. You That's better, don't, don't, don't pause, son. Don't look at me. I want you to follow me. That's it. Now, while I'm under that law of Nazarite, I cannot go at no dead body. Let us remember the law was a shadow, shadow right. of good things to come. So, what did the dead body in the Old Testament represent right. while I was temporarily sanctified? Take your time, sir. Wonderful, sir. Wonderful, wonderful. Sanctification wonderful. in the Old Testament means I'm yeah. set apart. Set apart. Yeah. But I wasn't permanently That's right, sir. set apart. Wonderful. My sanctification was under a vow and I was set apart for a period of time. That's it. Right. One of the things I had to stay away from was a dead body. All the days that he had separated himself. Hold it. Himself. Hold it. Take Hold it time. right there. Take it time, sir. Wonderful. Now, apostolics, the apostle Paul yes. was long preaching. Acts chapter 20. And we'll start at verse 7. Yep. And Paul was a Nazarite. Yep. Right. Amen. A New Testament Nazarite. That's right. That's right. Sanctified. Right. Set apart. Wonderful, sir. Wonderful. Wonderful. Holy. Amen. Amen. Naturally, he came from the tribe of Benjamin, from the stock of Abraham. Right. Touching the law? Pharisee. He knew oh, yeah. about the Old Testament law, yep. Nazarite. Yes, he did. That's right. Naturally, he was a Jew, yep. and spiritually, he was a Jew. That's right. Let us remember, yeah. under the law, you cannot go at no, no dead, dead body. body. Yeah. Oh, but now, look at what Brother Paul did. Acts chapter 20, we'll start at verse 7. Acts 20 and 7. And upon the first day of the week. Upon the first day of the week. When the disciples came together to break bread. Upon the first day of the week. The first day of the week. Wait a minute. They came together when? The first day of the week. They came together when? The first day of the week. So don't you dare tell me I can't have church on Sunday. Amen. Right. That's right. You didn't know that was in there, did you? That's right. right. Amen. I want this to be good for my seven-day Adventist brothers. Amen. Amen. That's right. Who said Rome changed it from Saturday to oh, Sunday. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Constantine wasn't in Paul's day. No. no. When did they gather? The first day of the week. That's right. I love to see everything here. Amen. Amen. 
Wonderful. They gathered the first day of the week, which is Sunday. We can gather the first day, Amen. the second day, yep. the third day, all the days of our life here. That's right. Hallelujah Amen. to Amen. God. And upon Amen. the first day of the week. Uh, you know, this is so beautifully Wonderful. outlined. Wonderful. When God talks, he picks up everything. Amen. Amen. All right. And upon the first day of the week. Upon the first day of the week. When the disciples came together to break bread. When the followers came together to break bread. Paul preached unto them. What? Paul preached unto them. Glory to God. Yeah. What day did Paul preach? The first day of the week. And what did he do? Paul preached. On what day? The first day of the week. And what did Paul do? Paul preached. On what day? The first day of the week. <laughs> what did Paul do? Paul preached. On what day? The first day uh, of the week. Then don't bother me. Amen. Right. right. Amen. Nothing wrong with having church on Saturday. Fine. Oh, that's fine. But you better not tell me that Constantine changed it. Yeah. Right. Constantine ain't changed nothing. Yeah. Right. The apostles preach every day. Every That's day. right. Every day. Every now, if you want to celebrate Saturday, then you have fell into scripture. Right. Because you have esteemed that day right. above all the others. One right. man, That's right. we esteem every day, every alike. day, every day alike. 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 Man, alike. Every day. So I can't condemn you for having church on Saturday. That's right. But you better not touch me at all. At all. That's right. For having church on Sunday. That's Amen. right. In fact, it's Saturday now. That's yeah. Good. And we are resting. Amen. Amen. We're Amen. having a Sabbath. Wonderful. Oh, yeah. Amen. Oh, Amen. Yeah. Amen. Wonderful. We are resting. Wonderful. Oh, yeah. Wonderful. Jesus said, come unto me. Yes, sir. Oh, he. Amen. That labor. And a heavy laden, and I, 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 will give you rest. Take my yoke upon me, and learn of me. Wonderful, wonderful. He said, because my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. That's right. Amen. So we have in church now. That's right. On the seventh day, yes, amen. And uh, we're gonna have it again first day of the week. On the first day of the week, that's right. Glory to God. That's all right. Bless Wonderful. the name of our God. Wonderful. Amen. Oh, the word of the word of God got the answer for everything. Oh yeah. All right, son. Read quick. Let's break this down. And upon the first day of the week, when the, the disciples came together to break bread, uh -huh. Paul preached unto them. Yes. Ready to depart on the morrow. All right. And continue the speech until midnight. Now, the apostle Paul was long preaching. Mm -hmm. All the way. To midnight. 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 Look at what happened. And there were many lights in the upper chamber where they were gathered together. All right. And there sat in a window a certain young man. There sat in the window a certain young man. Named Eutychus. Named Eutychus. Being fallen into a deep sleep. He did what some of my brothers do. Amen. Amen. That's it. Sleep while preaching. God. Glory to God. That's right, man. Oh, yeah. You know, sometimes I'm long preaching. Long preaching. <laughs> and I look at some of my brothers, you can tell. When they get in deep sleep. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I think of my blood brother, Brother Rick. God bless his heart. Years ago, what he used to do, he had a slick way of doing it. And you couldn't tell he was asleep. Rick would open his Bible up like he's following you. And lay it on his lap. Cross his legs. And put his hands on the Bible. And then close his eyes. Rick be asleep. The only way you know he's sleeping because he don't be following you in the Bible. Right. But then there's some of my brothers who just give it away. Yeah. They get deep. Yeah. Lip hang. Lip hang. That's up. That's right. That's up. Start wobbling. That's right, sir. Start drooling. Drooling. Leaning over. That's right, sir. Got the Utoshes in them. That's Amen. Right. Come on, son, real quick. Being fallen into a deep sleep. Yes. And as Paul was long preaching, uh -huh. he sunk down with sleep. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Sunk into it. Sunk down with sleep. Can I get a witness? Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Right, right. <laughs> when you sink into it, brother, yeah. you gone. Gone. All right. And fell down from the third law. He fell from the third law. And was taken up dead. And he died. That's right. right. Now let us remember. According to the law of the Nazarite, you could not do what? Shall not come at no dead body. Don't even come at it. Shall come at no dead body. Don't come at it. That's right. 
And let us remember that Eutychus fell out the third loaf and was taken up dead. And was dead. And Paul went down. Uh oh. Paul went down and fell on him. But what did the law say? Thou shalt come at no dead body. What? She shall come at wait, no. Wait, wait, wait. Take your time. Thou shalt what? He shall come at no dead body. What did Paul do? Amen. And Paul went down and fell on him. Paul came at the dead body. And, and embracing him. He touched it. Touched it. Amen. That's it. That's it. That's it. Amen. Paul didn't only approach it. Right. Yes. He touched it. Embracing him. And then what? Embracing him. And? Said, trouble not yourself. Trouble not yourself. For his life is in him. I got him. That's right. His life is in him. Is in him. Is in him. Wonderful, sir. Wonderful. Let me get another Dorcas. Nazarite. Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful, sir. Beautiful. By the name of Elijah. Elijah. Take your time, God. There was a woman who child died. Yeah, that's right. Amen. Hallelujah to God. Yes, sir. And the prophet came. And the prophet, remember, and she said who also Elijah. was a Jew. That's right. right. Who oh, yeah. knew the law of Moses. That's right. Oh, yeah. And was raised up under the teaching of the law of Moses and also was familiar with the law to govern separation, the Nazarite. Amen. Amen. Listen. Now in the book of First Kings, chapter 17. Read quick. And then verse 17. All right. And it came to pass after these things that the son of the woman. The son of the woman. The, the mistress of the house fell sick. Uh -huh. And his sickness was so sore that there was no breath left in him. Yes. And she said unto Elijah, what have I to do with thee, O thou man of God? Yes. Art thou come unto me to call my sin to remembrance uh -huh. and to slay my son? And he said unto her, Give me thy son. Give me your son. And he took him up out of her bosom and carried him up into a law. Wait a minute. Touched it. But he was dead. That's, that's right. And what did the law say? What did the law say? Thou shalt come at no dead body. While you was under that separation, right. and I'm going to break it down further, Wonderful. don't you come at no dead body. Wonderful. And you better not tell me Elijah wasn't separated. That's right. Amen. He was separated unto God. Yeah. For the prophets have separated themselves unto God Amen. for the purpose of God. That's right. All right. Back in 1 Kings 17 and verse 19. What is it? And he said unto her, Give me thy son. Give me your son. And he took him out of her bosom. Then what? And carried him up into a loft where he abode. Uh -huh. And laid him upon his own bed. Laid him on his own bed. And he cried unto the Lord. Ah. Uh -huh. He cried to the Lord. And said, O oh Lord my God. Oh Lord my God. Hast thou also brought evil upon the Prayer. widow? Prayer! Been me with whom I so journeyed by slain her son, uh -huh. and he stretched himself where upon the child. But what did the law say? He shall come at no dead body. But what did the prophet do? And he yeah. stretched himself upon the child. He stretched himself upon the child three times. Three times. Point. Amen. Amen. Why did he stretch himself three times? Three times. Out of the mouth of two or three witnesses. That's right. Let every word be established. That's right. He's establishing the fact yeah. that he wants God yeah. to bring his resurrection power. Amen. That's right. All right. And he stretched himself upon the child three times uh -huh. and cried unto the Lord. And cried to God. And said, O oh Lord my God, I pray thee, yeah. let this child's soul Come again. into him again. And, and the Lord heard the voice of Elijah. Wait a minute. Mm. God heard what? The Lord heard the voice of Elijah. And then what happened after that? And the soul of the child came into him again, and he revived. But the law said, He shall come at no dead body. All right, let me break it down further to you that are watching and you that are listening. So if the law was a shadow, yeah and was not the real thing, right. but was the shadow of good things to come, right. when he told them that were separated, don't come at no dead body, no dead body. the dead body of the Old Testament yep. doesn't, rec doesn't uh, represent the corpse Wonderful. of the dead of the New Testament. That's right. That's right. That's right. The dead in the Old Testament represent a state of being. That's right. In the New Testament, Man. 
What is the state of being in the New Testament that the church is forbid to be around? That's right. right. She that lived the in pleasure is dead. Is dead. While right. she lived. While she lived. That's a right. sinner. That's right. Is considered dead. Yeah. Dead. Trespass. And to mingle right. with the sinner, right. you will become unclean as the dead. That's right. That's right. That's, That's right. it. Trespass is essential. Wonderful. That's what it's talking That's about. That's what it's talking about. Sir. Amen. Wonderful. Wonderful. Amen. Wonderful. You were dead. Wonderful. Amen. Wonderful, sir. Wonderful. Amen. I'm looking at some dead folk now. That's, That's it. right. Amen. And you have to quicken. Quicken. That's right. That's Notice the second chapter of Ephesians. And begin right. in verse 1. Paul said. And you. Who? You. Who? You. You, you church. Amen. Right. Has he quickened. Has God revived. That's right. Who were. Who what? Who were. Who what? Who were. Look at your past. That's right. right. Amen. 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 Wonderful. What stage were we in? Dead. Yes. Hallelujah to God. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. We were dead. Dead yes. in. What was we dead in? In trespasses, trespasses and sins. Yes. We was dead in what? In trespasses yes. and sins. That's it. The trespass Wonderful. and sin and the sins. represent the dirt that's, that's thrown that's on it. the body. That's because right. trespass is filth Amen. and sin is filth. Amen. And when the body is covered with dirt, Amen. it's covered with filth. That's when it. you are sinner. Yeah. Amen. Amen. You are the living dead. That's, that's right. right. And the church Amen. is the mark. Yeah. And the preacher yeah. must form an autopsy. Amen. That's right. He got to cut you open. That's Amen. right. Yes, sir. Amen. He got the sword. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. That separate soul and spirit. Amen. That's why Through when, the, you, when you come in the church, listen at this. Now in the book of Colossians chapter 2 and verse 12. Colossians 2, 12. Wonderful. Through the faith. Through the faith. Of the operation of God. What got to happen to the you? The operation of God. What do we need when we go to church? The operation of God. We need what? The operation of God. Everybody got to be operated on. Amen. Amen. Right. Amen. Wonderful job. Amen. Yes, sir. So here we come. Yes. Amen. The dead. dead. Wonderful. Wonderful. Coming to God. That's right. To this big universal morgue. That's Amen. right. And the preacher mm -hmm. must examine the body. Yeah. Because he got to revive it. That's, That's right. In instruments. When you insane, you're dead. Yes, yeah. sir. Wonderful, sir. Wonderful. So the preacher must revive it. That's, That's it. right. Oh, yeah. Resources. Wonderful. You know you got that, what it's called, the frivolator. Yeah. Give the body a jump. Yes, sir. Electric shock. Sir. Amen. Give the body a jump. Amen. Yes, yes, sir. When you come to God's house, Amen. same thing, sir. The preacher, take the Old Testament. Yeah. And the New Testament. And the New Testament. Yes, sir. Amen. Because you got to work on the mind. Yeah. yeah. Amen. And you got to work on the heart. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. For that body to work the way God wanted to work. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. As it stands now, yeah. Oh, yeah. you dead. Dead. Yes, sir. Wonderful, sir. Wonderful. Do you hear what Brother Paul said? And oh, you have to quicken. You have to quicken. Who were dead. Who were. Were dead. Were. Were. Were dead. Were dead. In trespass. And sin. What did we do? We're in time past. In time yeah. past. We walked according to the course of this world. Wait. Wonderful. What stage were we in? You were dead. Yes, what stage were we in? Who were dead? We were dead. Yeah. dead. And while we were dead, he walked. Amen. 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 How? According to the course of this world. You see, when you're dancing, that's it. you's a dead man. That's right. That's it. When you Amen. smoke it, yeah. dead man. you's a dead man. Amen. When you drunk, yeah. Amen. you's a dead man. Yes, Amen. When you fornicate, yes, yeah. you're a dead man. Amen. That's right. 
when you are homosexual. Yes, yes. You are dead yes. man. Yes. But yet, what you're doing? You walked. Right. You're walking. According That's to it. the course of this world. And that includes walking the church. Amen. That's right. Congregation of the dead. Congregation right. of the dead. That's right. You got dead preachers. Yes, yes. Amen. Dead congregations. Amen. Oh, yeah. When they preach for the love of money, yeah. he's a dead preacher. That's right. Amen. Amen. When he preached prosperity, yes. he's a dead preacher. Amen. That's right. So when the Old Testament, That's when it says don't go at no dead body, dead body. that means stay away. Give me the book of Corinthians. Yeah. That's it. That's it. That's right. Come Let's on. see what we got to separate ourselves from. In the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 6. All right. And we'll start at verse 14. It says what? Be not unequally yoked together All right. with unbelievers. Yeah. Wait a minute. Mm. Yeah. An unbeliever yep. yep. is that corpse. That's right. Uh -huh. For what fellowship? What? Wait a minute. What involvement? Hath righteousness with unrighteousness. Stay away. That's right. right. Uh -huh. And what communion? What communion? Hath light with darkness. Wait a minute. Amen. If I'm in the light, yep. in the way of God, naturally when a person dies, the body is in darkness. That's right. right. Because it's not alive. That's right. But also when a person is in darkness, they are dead in sin. That's right. There is the physical death and there is the spiritual death. Amen. So in the Old Testament, it dealt with physical death. Right. And the New That's Testament, right. it deals with spiritual death. That's that right. That the Old Testament represents. That's right. So when you was told don't grab no dead body in the Old Testament, it represents not mingling or fellowshipping, fellowshipping or being a part of the sinner world right. in the New Testament. What fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? What fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion hath light with darkness? What else? And what concord hath Christ with blood? What else? Or what part hath he that believeth? With what? With an infidel. What else? And what agreement? What agreement? Hath, hath the temple of God? Hath the temple of God? With idols. Wonderful. For ye are the temple. Ye are the temple of the living God. God. Of who? Of the living God. God, I'm really God. Amen. Amen. So we're not dead no more. Come out oh, from no. among them. Do what? Come out from among them. And what shall we do with the dead? And be ye separate. Saith who? Saith the Lord. You got to come out from the sinner world. That's, That's right. And, and be separate. Mm -hmm. And touch. wait, 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 Amen. wait, wait, wait now. Amen. Go back to the law. Back to the law. Back to the law. That's right. Give chapter and verse. Back in Numbers chapter 6 and verse 6. Says what? All the days. All the days. That he separated himself unto the Lord. Uh -huh. He shall come at no dead body. All right. Let's go to the New Testament. Let's go to Ephesus. Mm -hmm. Back in Ephesus. Back no, in back Ephesians. In, back in Ephesians. Back wait, where you left off at. I was in 2 Corinthians. That's back in Corinthians, son. Come right. on. Back in 2 Corinthians chapter 6. Says what? And at verse 17. All right. Wherefore come out from among them. And? And be ye separate. Saith who? Saith the Lord. And what should else, what should we else not do? And touch not the unclean thing. There it is. That's yeah. right. That's the separation. That's the separation. separation. Touch not the unclean thing. And in the New Testament, yep. balance out with the old. That's, That's right. right. And the old Touch not the unclean thing was the corpse. Touch not the unclean thing in the New Testament is a living corpse. A living corpse. It's the sinner. That's, That's right. 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 Beautiful. That's beautiful. Right. beautiful. Come, Come out from among them. So leave. Yep. You're a dead pastor. That's right. That's right. Amen. Leave. Come out. Yeah. You're a dead bishop. That's right. Leave. Yep. You're a sinner apostle. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Separate. That's Separate. Right. Come out. Watch fellowship. Come out. Man. Separate. Come out. Wonderful. That's what that means. That's what it means. Right. Glory to God. Amen. Oh, thank God for knowledge. Amen. Wonderful. Beautiful. 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 That's what that is. Now in the book of Proverbs. Be quick. Chapter 21 and verse 16. All right. The, the man that wandereth. Yes. The man. Yes. That wandereth. Out of the way of understanding. Out of the way of understanding. Shall remain. In the congregation of the dead. You mean to tell me there's a whole dead congregation? Shall yeah. remain in the congregation of the dead. When they're in the congregation of the dead, what state are they in mentally? That wandereth out of the way of understanding. When you don't have no understanding, you group up with sinners. That's right. Amen. That's Amen. the congregation of the dead. That's right. That's the false churches. Amen. I believe Isaiah said, on the falsehood 
we have hid ourselves. And if you look at the false religion that is out here now, that cannot be found in the Bible, from pulpit to the door, yeah. is a congregation of sinners. Tony Harvin, he loved this program. Thank God, he, he fills this program up on his website. Points the people to the truth of God.